Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to just touch base with you guys, let you know what all is going on um, for our homeschool year and pretty much our life right now. Um, if you have been around on my channel, you know now that I was taking a little bit of a break from this channel just because life got really hectic and um, you know, I, my sister moved and then that same exact day we lost my mother-in-law and so that's been really hard and then it's been a couple weeks and my mom and her husband were on their way moving to where my sister is and he ended up in the ICU so it's just been literally like a train wreck after a train wreck that's kind of how it feels just like one one thing after another and so i just wanted to touch base with you guys a little bit um and tell you where we are homeschool wise and my channel so with our homeschool we usually start the day after labor day sometimes the week after it just depends like each year it's always something we always push our date back it literally happens every year and i'm okay with that um, so this year I was trying to plan it for the beginning of September, which was now pushed to the end of September. And now I'm looking and I'm thinking it, we may start in October. Um, I started purchasing our curriculum ahead of time, a little bit at a time through eBay and trying to get things at a cheaper rate, you know, and, um, but some of the curriculum that I was getting, I literally just purchased it, I wanna say like a week ago. So today is September 5th and I literally just purchased some of it. So we aren't, I got in touch with the company and we won't get that for a few weeks or a couple weeks. So with that being said, I probably won't get started until October because we don't have anything. And if you've been around my channel, you guys know you guys know how I am. I have to organize our stuff. I have to have things prepared so I don't feel all over the place. And as of now, I feel all over the place. So like my mind, it's just been really, really tough. Um, if you've been around this channel, you know that I have another channel, um, more on like hauls and crafting. It's like, it's a really fun channel for me. It's an outlet that I don't have to really do any thinking. It's more just things that I enjoy like for myself. And um, that channel, I I usually record those videos like way ahead of time and then I just work through them every week. So I've had, um, I've had videos going up on that channel just because I had pre-recorded videos. And unfortunately on my homeschool channel, it takes a lot of work for me to do my videos here because it takes a lot of thinking and preparing and having specific things ready or it takes me all day to do like the plan with me's and the hang out with me's and you know the homeschool room clean outs and stuff and I just really have not had the energy for it um and I don't have any curriculum to start sharing and that's usually what I'm doing in September like july august september i'm usually doing all my curriculum stuff and i just i'm not prepared at all so we won't be starting until october which is okay and usually i like for the past year or two i usually try to take off like the whole month of december um ever since like covid and our family got really sick my husband was like in the hospital and we didn't celebrate christmas so i've made sure the next year that like we had the whole december off so we could hang out do what we wanted praise the lord um you know watch movies just immerse ourselves into family time um this year i don't think i'm going to be able to do that just because we are starting so late and usually I kind of plan out ahead of time, like, okay, we're gonna take two weeks for Easter, one week for Easter, we're gonna take the month off for um, Christmas or December time. And I don't think I'm doing that this year. I think just because our life has been so all over the place and um, you know, things are so just, I feel like out of control, that I'm just gonna go day to day. That's how I think I'm gonna to try to do school this year. I will still have like a school schedule of what I have to do each day and what the kids are doing. But you know, if there's a day that I'm not filling up to it or you know, something happens or maybe we wanna go see my sister and mom, like we can do that and I'm not gonna feel like we're stuck in a schedule. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys that, that here now, 
um, that I'm not gonna have any sort of like plans throughout the year. Um, so that won't really be on my channel this year. Um, what else is going on? I wrote notes down because I'm like so scatterbrained, you guys. So I wanna just say here real quick that if any of you guys are going through things and probably 99.9% .9 of you guys are, just know you are not alone. You know, we are all going th through things and know that you're not alone because Jesus is with you. You know, sometimes we feel alone and like we don't know what to do. Just just keep moving forward, go day by day, read your Bible, listen to the word if you have to like on a Bible app, if you don't have like the, you know, um, motivation to like sit and read. Um, you know, just take time with the Lord, you know. Life is so, so up and down and we really aren't in control of anything really no matter how much we want to control things literally things are out of our hands except for you know you know what we can control but like as far as life life changing things like that we're mostly out of control with it you know what i mean so just know you're not alone you know we're all going through things and um yeah so i hope that that's a little bit of encouragement just to know that god is with you no matter what you know so my sister has been gone for a few weeks and um, my mom was on her way to her halfway there she's in a hospital with her husband and then i lost my mother-in-law which was absolutely devastating um very wonderful woman very full of love she loved everybody she would do anything for anybody literally if she had like a slice of bread left it would be yours you know um so that's been a terrible loss and she's very young um so that's been really hard on the family but you know the thing about death is being a christian and knowing god and knowing jesus and knowing that you're going to heaven um it kind of takes that that heaviness away so we're still sad but we know we'll see her again so so if you guys are going through a loss like that just know keep that near and dear to your heart and when you're feeling down or sad or um, not knowing how you're going to be without that person, just keep that in your mind that you'll see that person again. And another thing that we keep telling ourselves is that she's in a better place. She's not in any pain. She was struggling for a few years with lung problems. And um, yeah, so just, just that has definitely been something that has helped strengthen us and um, helped us get through this time. Um, okay, so moving away from that, um, I'm not done with my homeschool room. I'm not done with putting stuff away. <laughs> it's a complete just, I don't even know what to do anymore, you guys. It's like so crazy. Like I have a lot of things going on in my life my father and I are trying to do like this business venture. Um, so we're starting up doing like an eBay thing. We're gonna start selling on eBay. Um, we have a lot of like vintage items that has been in the family. Well, he has a lot of vintage items that's been in our family for a long time. He's a collector. Um, and I'm gonna sell like, you know, old homeschool curriculums and things like that on the same eBay. So I'm planning on doing that. And then I have my other channel so I'm gonna be spread real thin um, this coming up year. I'm trying to um, create business so that um, we have you know, two incomes in our household. It's been really tough. As you know, being a homeschool mom, there are a lot of um, financial sacrifices that we make in that way of not working and just relying on your other to provide is really stressful. 
um, on the other person as well as you know the person that's like relying um, so I've really been like going back and forth in my mind of things that I can do and still be like a stay-at-home mom and take care of the kids and the house and our homeschool so I am going to be doing this with my dad I'm super excited about it we've been really working on getting it started and getting things ready and trying to prepare stuff um, so that is going to be something that I'm going to be starting so I don't don't know how much um, I can put into my homeschool channel here I plan on still having videos go up when I can and when I feel led to this is definitely not a source of income for me this is just something that I started because I really wanted to help other moms on the same adventure that I was going into because I only started this channel a year after I started homeschool and I really felt led to do it not only for like other moms but for my myself to have like that connection that community with other homeschooling moms and I have definitely gotten that out of this channel I love this channel I love this community I love all of you moms that come here and comment and hang out with me it has been such an encouragement and a safe place for me to be but with with and I hate saying this but with with all the time that I put into it and I I'm not getting anything financially in return. And right now, where my life is and where my family's life is, we need more of like a financial stability. And so I have to weigh out what I need to do to achieve that. And with that being said, this channel does not give the financial ability to my family. And I hate saying this because I always told myself like I would never like look at this channel as like money making and I don't, I literally don't, but I've been doing it for five years and I really just do it for me and for you guys. Um, it's, you know, I've gone back and forth about stopping the channel, but then I'm like, oh, I don't get to talk to the homeschool moms. Like, you know, I don't get to converse with them and like, that always made me sad like I felt like I was letting someone down you know what I mean I don't know why it's kind of weird um, but there are some times where I have to like give and take and because this channel for the content it's so thought out it takes a lot of my time um, with my other channel better buys with Liz it doesn't take a lot of time like it it's li like i go to the dollar tree all the time anyway so what i'm sharing on that channel is what i'm getting anyways i order things online and i share it and i've been doing um like junk journaling to do a hobby of my own because finally my kids are like at an age where i can take an hour away and like do crafting on my own so i really need that as like an outlet just for myself um you know like mentally just to like take a break from everything and so that channel um i don't know how to explain it it's more like a hobby for myself and it does make a little bit of income so it's 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 doing two things for me um this channel does a lot for me like i love this channel and i'm not going to end this channel at all i'm still going to post things i'm still going to share my curriculums with you guys i think i just won't do like my day in the lives and stuff like that that the filming takes all day to do and then it takes days to edit it because i have to like edit when i can and i'm usually up until like two three in the morning and then i go to bed or i'm sorry i wake up the next morning at like between eight and nine and you guys it's just i'm wearing out really fast and so well i guess it's not that fast because it's been years that i've been doing this um but with myself trying to do the other um the other things to bring in an income for the family for us to be able to make it i have to kind of like put something a little bit on the back burner and i feel like i've been doing this so long and i feel like there are so many other homeschooling channels here on youtube that are so encouraging and the moms are great and their content is really good 
and I feel like I wouldn't be like walking away from this and like giving up without like knowing that there's so many other places where you guys can find like encouragement and somewhere to go if like you need help with something. Um, maybe a curriculum you weren't sure of, you'll see a review somewhere else. There's just so many other moms on this platform that I don't feel so bad, you know? Um, but I am so sad because I absolutely love this channel. It has been so wonderful. I don't know if some of the reason that I also feel like, um, kind of feel weird doing this channel not weird i don't know what the right word is but like now that my sister is gone and the girls are gone like it just feels different for me and i don't know if it's because so much is going on in my life right now and i don't have the emotional like strength to get through it all you know you never know in a year i may come back and be doing this all over again but right now i just kind of have to take my time and um step back a little bit but with that being said i will definitely you guys will see all of my curriculum picks i have some really great supplemental things that i'll be using this year that i wanted to share with you guys um and you will definitely see videos here on my channel they just might not be like scheduled week to week do you know what i mean but stay tuned make sure you guys are still subscribed and that you guys hit your notification bell that way you guys will see my videos um when they do come live if, say i'm not uploading every single week and then i come back and i upload like after a month sometimes you won't see my stuff being uploaded anymore because the monetization on youtube will kind of like stop it um, so just make sure you guys are, um, you know, your notifications are on so that when you do see a new curriculum pick or a, view, or a review on something or a flip through, because you guys know I love my flip throughs, um, or maybe my supplemental things or even hauls that I do for the homeschool room, you guys will still be able to see when it, go, when it goes live. So I just want to say to you guys that I want to thank you literally from the bottom of my heart. I know it sounds cheesy, but I am that type of person. I truly do feel blessed for this channel. I feel blessed for each and every one of you guys that, you know, we've communicated or um, that you've even watched because I don't know some of you that watch my channel. You don't comment or, you know, I don't get to communicate with you, but I do want to thank you and um I just, I felt very blessed to have this space here on YouTube with you for five years. I think it's five years. Yeah, five years. So with all that being said, you guys, thank you again so much for being here. Leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and I will try to comment as soon as I can. But you guys, be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next one.